Oh yeah guys, what a big Dan over here coming at you. Yeah. And you're staring at the new piece in the laboratory. Oh yeah. 10 inch base, two pound unit, inline D-Wax. And I just wanted to go over a few features that you guys might want to know about. Oh yeah. As you can see, it's got the 10 inch base guys. Big heavy duty super clean welds as you can see nice electro plating everything's polished up nice nice oh yeah and as you can see it's got dual sight glasses for the base as well as the big hefty ball valve guys And I know there's a lot of controversy out there, guys, with the uh, proper way to do de-waxing. So I'm just gonna uh, go with the proper methods. No slacking. We got the uh, two micron ashless filters. <clears throat> there's one set in here, and then there's uh, in this cylinder right here. And there's a series of filters. Oh yeah, and with the bottom one being the ashless 2 micron filter. And as you can see, you close the valve off and you get to the D-Wax column right here, which is a full pound D-Wax column, 18 inches long, 4 inches wide, oh yeah. Boom. And that's where you shove your dry ice. And I know there's a lot of confusion. Some people uh, think you just pack this cylinder right here and then just chill it with dry ice and then uh, that's de-waxing. In fact, that is not a true inline de-wax. For a true inline de-wax, you need this second cylinder right here, another 18 inches. As you can see, going up, going up, about six feet tall. Then into the cylinder reducer. With another 150 micron screen at the top. Into your connecting hose, your stainless steel connecting hose. That goes into your recovery tank or your solvent tank. Whatever these guys are using. Oh yeah. But the main issue, guys, is right here to be able to declamp this. Uh, you could also put a big inline ball valve right there if you wanted. You could get another one of those valves. You could stick it right there. So then you could actually remove this chamber and uh, just keep it on ice while you do multiple runs. Oh yeah. But for us, we just got a nice uh, 150 micron filter right there. And then it'll drop all the solvent that goes through the material right here. We'll then just go into this de-wax tank, sit there and chill at uh, negative 30, negative 40, sub-zero temperatures for as long as you'd like. And as that's chilling, This is under a vacuum, and then when you pull this lever, it'll suck everything through. All your lipids will be contained in this array of filters right here, which is also the reducer. So as you see, you have a, a reducer. Inside of there will be different filters, with the bottom one being these. Ashless filters guys oh yeah and that's what you want to use guys don't get confused and you want to keep these filters very very clean considering those are gonna be at the very bottom before your 
collection tank. Oh yeah. So definitely keep those filters sterile. Keep them in a separate Ziploc baggie. Don't sleep on the filters. They are a little pricey. A lot more pricey than coffee filters guys, but when you're making this kind of medicine, no slacking. Oh yeah. And there we go guys. So this is a full two pound unit with the two pound D-Wax. Oh yeah. And as you can see, that is a beast of a system guys. But you know how we do it. Big Dan over here. Got to do it big, or go home. Aw, oh, yeah. And with these two sight glasses, that really, really helps in recovering that solvent, guys. And of course, uh, we'll get to a video, let you see how this thing runs in action. Uh, you know I'm more about a grow channel, so I'm going to see if I can get the girls over here. Uh, let them show you how everything's done, how they do their extractions. Um, I know there's a lot of cats in Rhode Island wanting to get down with their extractions. So uh, just email me, hit me up, find me on the Instagram, and I'll direct you to the ladies. And uh, they can see if they'll run your material. Um, definitely don't step to them with no swag material, guys. As you can see, they got big proper units, and they're not about running no bunk-ass material. So if these guys are trying to run units of proper nug runs, holla at us. If not, don't waste the time. You know how it is. Aw, oh, yeah. So, subscribe, share, comment, holla at your boy. Go through the playlists. Do the dang thing. Aw, oh, yeah. Stay tuned. We'll see you next time. Peace.